Hey guys, welcome back to another mommy vlog. And today, I got some stuff to talk about. Okay, um, let's. Okay, I'm gonna tell a little story. It's a little more um theater shenanigans. If you don't already know, um, I work at a movie theater. Not gonna say which one, but um, ah, oh, some shit happened the other day. Yeah, and uh, I mean that in the literal sense. Okay, so <laughs> I wasn't particularly there when this happened, but it happened like maybe sometime earlier this week. I forgot exactly what day, but. Um, in the morning on the weekdays, it's usually really slow at our theater, you know, because, like, on the weekends, like right now, because it's Saturday night, I just came home from work, so tired, but, uh, usually it's so, like, not busy, you only need a couple of people to actually clean theaters, so, uh, what happened was, ah, okay, wait, it says, I don't want to spoil anything, I want to tell it in the right order, so it's hella funny, okay, so, I have this one co-worker who works up in the projection, right? production area where he makes sure like all the things play at the right time and make sure like you know the 3d looks right and nothing you know goes wrong so basically he stays up there the whole time because he's like assistant whatever doing that and uh you know, it, it was really slow that day so he's like you know what i'm gonna go down and help the other guys clean so uh, he went to go clean a theater by himself and someone else it's him and a manager went to go clean another theater while the other people you know did something do it did another theater so okay <clears throat> so the projectionist and the manager they go in this one theater. They start, you know, picking up the big stuff, like the big old cups and stuff. They, he walks into one of the rows. He looks around. He sniffs. He goes, he goes, someone shit. <laughs> and so, the, the, uh, yeah, it, it was in, in, in an aisle on one of the seats. Someone actually defecated on it. And, um, okay, that's not even the worst part. He walks up to it, he sees it on like the chair, and he goes, dude, I'm gonna go take a picture. So he walks over there to almost, like, he gets closer to snapping it, he takes another step forward, and all he hears is squish. He looks down, moves his foot, a big shoe print in this big old pile of crap, and here's the thing. That crap is not even dog or anything. It's human. Someone took a fucking shit in the damn thing, and uh, it was just really bad. It was so Okay, it was in the morning. I can't believe no one even said anything. It must have been like a really slow theater with only a couple of people in it. But yeah, he stepped in it. He's like, ah, oh. I asked him if he was mad. I was like, are you hella pissed off? He's like, no, man. I'm like, if anything, I was more shocked that this actually happened. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. So we're making fun of him the other day just for that. It was so bad. It was during the movie um, Conjuring. It's a new horror movie that just came out. So I guess the guy maybe shit his pants or he didn't want to like miss the ending and accidentally like ripped one. And then he crapped, he's like, oh, oh crap, what am I going to do? So he probably like left it in a pile on the ground. I didn't see it. I'm so glad. So I was like, did you at least get the picture? He's like, no. Because it was so, oh my god, it was so bad. So my manager felt really bad for him. So he's like, you know what, go clean a shoe. I'll clean up the shit. So they got rid of all that. It was so bad. Oh, it was horrible. I'm so glad that I wasn't there or in that theater when that happened. Like a lot of stuff, you wouldn't believe the kind of stuff that happens in the theater. Okay, tonight, for example, I just got off work, I came straight here, and I started recording, but uh, here's something that happened. Um, <clears throat> I'm walking down the hall, a customer comes right out of one of the theaters, and he goes, uh, look, dude, uh, there's someone, like, recording something, I want you to go check it out, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go in there in a minute. Um, it was the Wolverine movie, it just came out, uh, you know, the newest one, so people usually like to go and record it and try to make money off that, so... Um, I was like, where is he at? He said he was on the top row, like, second from the top row. So, uh, the theater that he was in is really big, so I went, like, it was dark already. I took off my name tag, so, like, I, I looked just like a customer, like, without the name tag, I guess, in the dark. So, I went all the way up. I, I went all the way to the top, and I look, like, like, okay, I'm right over here. He's, like, barely right there. I, 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 I look over, I, like, okay, while I'm doing this, everyone around me is like, what the hell's going on? So, I look over his shoulder he has his camera he's like oh yeah, yeah. he has his, it's not even like a it wasn't a phone and it wasn't even like it wasn't even one of these cameras it was one of like big ass professional ones with a huge lens and then he, he was like hella focused on it and i was like are you serious what the fuck so i tapped his back and he goes huh and i go sir can you please stop recording he goes oh fuck so he starts being all like really twitchy right and then he's like okay it's off and I was like, I'm going to have to ask you to delete that video. Because um, if they have it on them, it's illegal and stuff. But if they delete it, everything's fine and all that stuff. So he deleted it. It took him like a little bit. I was watching the whole time to make sure he actually did it. And then I saw the world's film deleted. So I went, he, you know, he got hella nervous. I was like, thank you. And then I left. And then I came back in another few minutes. I walked all the way to the top again. The guy looked at me. 
<laughs> he didn't have his camera out again, but damn, what the freak, man. Here's the thing. What he did is very, very illegal. Um, He's lucky that I didn't go get the police officer to go, like, arrest him and stuff. I could have recorded him recording because we still need evidence because, you know, I can be like, I'm going to get the cops. And he runs away. Like, I run, I run to get the cop and he deletes it right away. Um, yeah, I have to, any evidence to catch him in the act, but I gave him a break. I was like, dude, come on. Because the theater was really full. I don't want to, like, make a scene, ruin people's movies. So I'm like that. So that guy, I ruined his night. He was planning to freaking record it. You know what? He's probably going to go tomorrow to another movie theater and do the thing anyway. But not in my theater. So many kids sneaking into. Ah. So, yeah. Whenever we go in The Conjuring and he's there cleaning with us, we go, you know what? Shit's going down. <laughs> Shit's going down. Oh, God. I mean, it's still funny because um, a few days later that happened like uh, the story was getting passed around that that happened so one of the other managers was like hey dude let me see your, let me see your shoe so he turns it over it's still like little remnants of brown it's like oh what the i don't know i'm just this has just been a whole shit vlog i am so sorry so um my plan was to come home tonight and uh record this right away put it up and um i think i'm gonna go play a few more cube worlds and stuff uh people have given me a lot of tips and uh, uh i've been receiving some messages people saying they want to play with me but the thing is i don't think it's gonna be like really um consistent if we do play that would be like maybe a live stream thing one day but um the thing is i play for about 10 to 20 minutes um every every episode and then I stop I take a little break and I go record a little bit more I don't think you know that would fit in your guys' schedule so thank you for wanting to help and play with me yeah, but uh, yeah that's that's mostly the deal I work on work on a video or two and then while it's rendering and editing I do other stuff and then etc so thank you for the tips though and um, I'm trying to put up um, some highlights of the last stream I did which was, I think, four or five days ago. Me and my friend played uh, Saints Row the Third. So fun. I've never played it before. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to put up some some of the videos. But whenever I put up a highlight, I always get a copyright warning saying, like, you know, acknowledge, like, a visual and, co like, a visual, um, visual content um, acknowledged. It's basically saying, yeah, if I acknowledge it, I'm basically saying, yes, I don't own the rights to this. And, but I can still keep it and all that. But if they just do decide to take it down, which I'm not gonna risk, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a copyright strike. And I looked at the because like when you tells you that you know they suspect a little bit of copyright stuff, and they show you the little place in the video where it is. I looked and it's nothing. It's like basically a, a plane coming and just black. I was like, what the? F That's not even copyright stuff. So just to be safe, I put the video down. I'm not going through that again. I put the copyright thing way behind me. So uh, this video, I mean this channel, th this video was on suffered way too much for that, and uh, I had to make a new channel just for that. So no more copyright stuff, anything at all. I'm gonna be super safe. So that's all. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to end this here and go uh, record some Cube World and uh, some other stuff. I gotta play a lot more Don't Starve. I gotta add a couple mods in because you know the newest update just came out so they're gonna update all those mods i'll add them in so people suggested a few more and yeah i really wanted to add to those but i had to wait till they're up so i'm gonna go check that out and do some stuff on the channel and uh be wary of shit in your theaters i'm just kidding it's not gonna happen don't leave shit in theaters i'll see you guys Bye bye